Here's a very brief video explaining the explicit model and how you can adapt it for working with clients in talking about sensitive matters of life, especially around sexual health and well-being, uh, within whichever field of practice you're working in. Back in the 1970s, uh, an American sexologist called J. A. Anon designed a model for psychosexual counselling called the PLICIT model. This stands for permission, as in permission giving, limited information, specific suggestions and intensive therapy. I'll explore each one of those as we move through these slides. The PLICIT model is clearly client-focused. It explores ways of giving the client permission to talk about sexual matters, maybe offering them limited information or making specific suggestions to them, and then referring them on when you reach the boundaries of your level of competence. So referring them on for intensive therapy um, to, to somebody else. As with so many models designed in various stages, however, too many people read J.A. Anon's work at once and then thought it must be a linear process, starting with permission giving once and moving through all the other steps until they referred the client on elsewhere. So um, Taylor and Davis back in 2006 reconceptualized this whole model, putting the implicit element at the core of their new design. The Taylor and Davis version puts Plicit into the middle, but at each and every stage it gets the practitioner to reflect on how things are going and also to review whether they need to change or adapt or to move in different ways. And that the permission giving must be at the heart of each of the other uh, sections. It's not just asking permission once, but revisiting this um, each and every time you talk about sexual health with your clients. So with the Taylor and Davis adaptation of Plicit, they put um, permission giving right at the core so that each and every time um, you're dealing with new issues around sexual health or going deeper into sexual health discussions with your clients, you need to revisit the permission giving because you may have permission to talk about it originally with them. But if you start getting into deeper stuff, um, don't just assume you can just necessarily carry on. Another classic difference with the Taylor and Davis model is that not only did they put Plicit into a different design within the core of their model, but on the outside they focus this now on the work of the practitioner. Here you can clearly see the benefits of the Taylor and Davis adaptation by exploring um, dimensions which affect us as practitioners. So first of all, exploring our own self-awareness around whatever it is that we're discussing with our clients, how we feel about the different issues they mention, whether we're bringing any baggage with us. And that's obviously part of reflection, which means we need to reflect in practice as well as on practice afterwards. The reflection also leads into our review, so we can be reviewing the session with the client as we're actually going along and considering whether we need to bring in different dimensions, to talk about other things, to back off even. So we must review to see how well we're doing as the session develops. This might also mean that we need to find out more ourselves, that we need to consider our own knowledge base. It may be that the client is talking to us about certain aspects of life or maybe treatments or therapies they're using uh, that we're completely unaware of. So we always have to reflect on what our knowledge is and whether we need to expand on this to find out more. And finally, the element that Taylor and Davis talk about is challenging assumptions. And that's not just in ourselves, but it could be challenging ass uh, assumptions from our client's point of view and our services. If you want to know more about the Taylor and Davis model, especially from the perspectives of promoting sexual health and well-being, um, I've actually written an article on this, a CPD article in the Nursing Standard in 2013. I'll put reference to this on the online resource. Thanks for listening.